So we'll take a look at another way to scale now. I'm going to select this tree and drag it down onto the hillside there. I'll pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into that region so we can see it a little more clearly. I'll switch to my selection tool, which then reveals the bounding box. That bounding box has points on every corner and on every edge, eight to be precise. And there is actually one for the center as well, which isn't visible at the moment, but that is replicated in the transform portion of the properties panel. Notice that we have a grid here, which is made up of nine squares. So when you scale inside of Illustrator or you make any kind of transformation, you are doing so from a set point on your object. Usually the center is the default, but in our case here, rather than scaling and shrinking that tree to the center, we can actually pin the bottom edge instead before we scale. If I left click on any one of the three points along the bottom, that will then indicate to Illustrator that we wish to lock down a point on the bounding box. And when we now scale, if I go to the height value, swipe over that and then type in 75 and press return. Notice that the bottom edge of our shape stays exactly where it is because that's where it was anchored. So it's one less thing that you'll need to do once you've scaled to move it afterwards. If you know the area where you wish to anchor the object on screen, that can save a great deal of time. And when you're done, it's usually worthwhile to go back and left click on the center point of that reference just to reset it.